Hello, I'm Lucinda from Acuity Training. I'm going to show you how to animate text and images in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. Let's open up a PowerPoint presentation. Slide 9 here has an image and also has text. So let's use this slide. To animate in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010, we have an animations ribbon, as you can see here. On this ribbon, there is an animation pane, which I can turn on and off. I would suggest that we use the animation pane because it helps us to see and build the animations for this slide, as you will see as we progress. Let's start with the image. If we click on the image in this PowerPoint presentation, to animate this, we can click on the button Add Animation. As we can see, there are different types of animation. We can have the item object entering, emphasizing, and exiting. And there's more of these effects down at the bottom here. Let's get the picture to enter first in some way. And if we point on Fade, for example, Live Preview shows the fade animation on the image. There's Fly In, there's Grow and Turn, and there's Bounce. I would like the image to zoom in on the screen as an entrance technique. We can now see in the animation pane the animation 1 there, the first animation, on click means on mouse click, it will zoom picture placeholder for. Let's get the picture to emphasise now, so the audience looks at the image. Add animation, we come down to emphasis, and I'm going to get the picture to teeter on my next click. So the next animation, as you can see, is on click, teeter, picture placeholder for. Let's animate the text now to come in. So if we click on the text, make sure that you click on the text placeholder and up we go to add animation. And let's look at a few more entrance effects now. So I'm coming right down to the bottom to look at more entrance effects. We have subtle effects, moderate effects and exciting effects. And right at the top, we've got basic effects. Let's get the text to boomerang in. And as you can see with live preview here, each point is coming in individually because they are in bullet points. Click on OK. Let's get this text now to emphasize. Before we do that though, notice in your animation pane, there is now a drop down arrow. And we can expand the contents by clicking here. And it's now showing us on click, each point coming in with a boomerang effect. Let's get the text to emphasize now. So select again the text box, add animation, and let's have a look at some more emphasis effects. Again, we've got the same groups, basic, subtle, moderate, and exciting. And I'm going to use the wave emphasis effect to get each point, as you can see there, to wave to emphasize it. And then click on OK. We now see another double array, which we can expand. And these are showing the emphasis effects coming in. One, two, three. And we can see that's using the wave effect. Let's now get the image to exit off the slide followed by the text. So the image is now going to be, we're now going to add an animation effect to the image again, and it's going to be an exit effect. Same groupings apply, basic, subtle, moderate, and exciting. And I'm going to get the picture to pinwheel out from the slide. If we move out of the way, we can see that again. There we go. If I click on OK, I'm now going to get the text to disappear. There's our exit effect there, look, the red, little red star there. Click on the text again, add animation, 
more exit effects and I'm going to get the text to shrink and turn and disappear. We can see that happening if I click on it again there. There we go. The text is now shrinking and turning. Click on OK. And we can see that with the double arrow here again in the animation pane. We can see each point shrinking and turning. We are now going to have a look at it in slide shape so we can see exactly the full picture of our animation. Let's have a look. I'm going to use the status bar and the slideshow button here. Give it a click. On my first click, my picture enters. On my second click, my picture emphasises with the teeter. On my next click, my text enters, as you can see, point by point. On my next click, it will wave in emphasis animation each point. My next click should see the image spin and turn to exit and my final clicks will see the text reducing and turning out of the slide. If I press escape I'm back to my slide again. If you want to remove any animations we can simply select an animation and press delete like so or we can select a group of animations by using the shift button. So if I click the top animation, shift and the bottom, I can now press delete and all animations are now removed. And that is how we animate text and images in PowerPoint 2007 and 2010. Thank you for listening.